Well, good morning. Well, actually, it's good afternoon because it's almost one o'clock. Could get my butt out of bed this morning. <laughs> so we walked late. Uh, I walked 1.1 miles and I did it a little over half an hour, as you saw. So I don't, um, I just got to stop swinging. Um, Jim only walked a half mile, but I continued on my other half mile. I walked a little bit of a different route. So I saw some different sights today. So that was good. But we have birthdays today because today is Dale Hammerstein. Hammerston, H-A-M-M-A-R-S-T-E-N. So today's Dale's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dale. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. It's also Haley Norwood's birthday. So Haley, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Haley. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. And it's also Sandy's birthday. So Sandy... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope all three of you have a great birthday. I had anybody tell me it was their anniversary today, and that's all the people that told me it was their birthday. So thank you for letting me celebrate your birthday with you. Um, oh, it's so hot out here today. It's like 82 degrees already. But it's not like an 82 summer 82, but it's still hot. Well, I've just been sitting here listening to the Phantom of the Opera on my earbuds. Because I, I like sitting outside. I like getting as much sun as I can for as long as I can. Um, so we have some running around to do today. My um, thyroid doctor called me at 8.15. Does he not know that's the middle of the night for me? <laughs> anyway, um, he told me that he can't prescribe anything that's cheaper. He's really sorry, but this is exactly what I need. And so... He didn't say it, but I said it. I said, well, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy it. And so he says, well, it's what you need. So, so I got to go to CVS and pick up my prescription for that. Um, is, is that these? I think it's these. They got little bumps on them now. And they seem to be getting bigger. I notice that when I'm, when I'm uh, editing my videos that they're getting a little bit bigger. So I don't have the phone number for the dermatologist that Jim goes to, but it's really close. I did not like the dermatologist I went to last year. Uh, it it was just like a money grab to me. They they never really checked anything. Um, they said everything was fine. I, I guess I was going for my rosacea, and they didn't look at anything else. But you know what? I've always had these moles on my face, but they never even paid that much attention to them. And then I got some, like, hanging moles here that are kind of catching on my shirts that I kind of have to get removed. Oh, my gosh. I can never turn the camera fat far enough to fast enough around but there's like a turkey vulture sitting walking across the street he's walking big as big as life stay away from my feeders because he'll come after my little birds i know that anyway um and then we have to do that i have to have some books i want to i have books i want to bring back to the library but i also have books i want to donate to the library christy has two more books for me so um we uh I'm going to donate those. and the, Not those. I'll donate those after I read them, but she's going to bring them on Friday because on Friday we're going to do Brooke's birthday dinner because she was sick when her birthday was August 14th. Remember, she called it like an hour before dinner and said that she's sorry, but she couldn't make it because she was too sick. And then she started back uh, working at school and between the hours and the boys' hours and um, getting them every other week and you know, all that good stuff. Well, this week they have them, so we're going to have them. So I thought, you know, like Jim and I had to go and make some adjustments on our will. Nothing major, just a couple little tweaks. But I, I always like to let my kids aware of what's going on so they're not apprised. <laughs> because my niece Holly used to always say that when she was little, when she was surprised, she'd go, I'm apprised, I'm apprised. <laughs> so... Um, so I told them, you know, like, we're going to do Brooke's birthday on Friday. We usually do them on Thursdays, but uh, Christy has to get her crown put in on Thursday. And uh, her appointment's at 5 o'clock. So she wouldn't be done by before 6, and it's way on her side of town, so she wouldn't be here in time. So uh, I just switched it to Friday. and It seems to work for everybody. Everybody can make it on Friday. We're going to have lasagna. Um, I am going to eat meat on Friday. I know I usually don't eat meat. It's not... I just choose not to eat meat, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna have lasagna, and there's gonna be meat in it, so I'm gonna be eating lasagna on Friday. But Christy always goes to the to the far end of the scope because uh, after the football game, uh, oh, here's a picture of uh, Sebastian. Um, right after the game, he was so excited. He ended up I, I think I said that yesterday. He ended up uh, tackling 
the the opposing team. They ended up tackling him for a loss, and also he recovered a fumble, and uh, he did really well at center. So um, here's a picture of him in his uniform after the game. He was just so happy. I felt bad for the other team. The other team didn't even have cheerleaders. We had so many cheerleaders. It looked like whoever went out for it, they, okay, you can be a cheerleader. There had to have been, oh, easily 35 cheerleaders. And they were loud. <laughs> they were really, really loud. But uh, anyway, see, I lost my train of thought, as always. Oh, and so um, when we were leaving the football game, uh, Christy called me and she said, can you answer me a question honestly? And I go, yes. And she says, are you and dad dying? And I go, well, yeah, we are. <laughs> so she says, really? And then, uh, I thought, the wrong thing to say, Christy, wrong thing. I says, Christy, you're dying too. Everybody's dying. You're dying from the minute you're born. <laughs> so I don't know. So she says, no, you're going to do the will and you're going to change. The I says, the, the changes I made were so minor and it's just about the distribution, and that's all it is. And so it's not anything that you need to worry about. I, your father and I, well, you're going to the doctor's tomorrow to get results, on Thursday, rather. And I go, that's just for his sleep study. That has nothing to do with his, well, it does have something to do with his health. But I said, it doesn't have anything to do with his health. You know, we went to the heart doctor, and everything was fine. He did a stress test, and it was fine. Everything, you know, came back fine. I did my thing. I was fine. So I said, don't worry about it. So she says, you promised me. And I go, Christy, I don't lie to you. If, if, if something was going on, I'd let you know. So she said, oh, okay. She said, because I was just kind of worried that you wanted us all there. And I go, well, yeah, I want you all there because I don't want word of mouth, like telephone, that never gets said right. <laughs> so but uh, so we're going to do the dinner on Friday. And then Saturday, I have to bring Mary's dog to the vet. I'm going to put a sheet in the back of the car so I don't have all that dog hair again. And speaking of dogs, I found a really cute dog cartoon to put at the end of my video. <laughs> Just so you know that I do take dogs seriously. <laughs> well, somewhat seriously. But, uh, and then we're going to go to, um, it's a little ways away. It's about 45 minutes to an hour drive away. Uh, Jim likes to go to this one market that has uh, wild game meats. So we're going to go there so he can pick up some wild game. I don't like wild game. I, don't know. I, I can pass on that. Uh, I don't have any, any uh, desire if I was on Survivor, you know what? I always say that uh, Terry Weeks was talking about hot dogs the other day, and I thought, oh, there ain't no way, no way, no way, no way I would ever eat hot dogs. But I kind of wonder if I was on Survivor and I had gone like three weeks without eating, I'm willing to bet I'd be eating a hot dog. <laughs> if they offered hot dogs, I probably would be eating a hot dog. But only in an extreme case, because I have not had a hot dog since I left my parents' house when I was 20 years old. And I'm 74, so for 54 years, a hot dog has not passed by these lips because, no. So, um, I, I wanted to thank all my partners in crime, Edie, the, this is my accountability partner as far as staying on Weight Watchers, and Terry Weeks, and Sparkling Susan, and Sue Slims Down, because we, um, communicate back and forth about our weight so that keeps me in check too Lori um, is my walking compatibility partner so I want to thank her too and Nancy Chiampi sends me daily little um, quotes to keep me on track uh, my actually my thumbnail is the one I used today is the one she sent me today which is um, you know you can always make excuses but as soon as you acknowledge the excuses that you're making you will start getting better results and I do notice that um, I am getting better results. I'm walking more every day. Um, I'm not um, trying to avoid it for, you know, like, oh, I hope it rains or something like that. No, I just, I'm really, like, looking forward to walking again. I, I'm finding it's helping my balance. Um, I'm doing better choices with my food because I'm not making excuses like, oh, you know, I'm just really hungry. I need a candy bar. You know, I'm really hungry. I could have an egg. I could have some cucumbers. I could have something like that. Sugar-free jello. It doesn't have to be go to the extreme with a candy bar. Oh, my sugar is low. I better have some candy. I can have a piece of fruit. That's a natural sugar. That'll bring it back up. I have a little glass of orange juice or something. I have a banana. There's there's other things I can have instead of a... Okay. And then I always justified, well, you know, a candy bar is 210 calories, but a banana is like 105. So, you know, it's another 100 calories. It's not that big a deal. It's more sugar in a candy bar than in a banana, although a banana has sugar. That's a bad example. But you know what I mean. I think your body breaks down different 
things in your body differently according to what it is you're putting in there. So um, I'm going to stop making excuses and I'm going to start seeing some better results and I'm starting to swing again because it's just a natural, natural thing. Um, I've drank most of my water so far. I'm going to finish this and then fill it up and then we're going to be on our way to San Jose. <laughs> Although we're not going to San Jose. So um, let me show you. I'm going to show you the progress once a week of the trees turning because they seem to be turning pretty fast. And I wish I would have had my camera out sooner, but uh, my birds were like off flying all around me. It was like, I felt like, um, is it Mary Poppins? Who's the, who's the the one that she's in the forest? And, well, Snow White, I know, had all the birds. They brought her cape and all that. But all, wherever she walked, she had birds flying all around her. They, they were walking right up here on the patio right next to me. They didn't, they didn't care. They're used to me. They know who, they know who feeds them. They know who takes care of them. So, um, well, here's a little quick glimpse of the colors changing slowly, but unfortunately, it'll come rapidly pretty soon. And then uh, let's get on with the day. Not so much the bottom of the tree, but at the very top, it's starting to turn. Across the street, the trees are starting to turn. And the tree behind that house right there that used to be green that's pretty much turned really quickly but it's almost autumn so what do you expect well i forgot the books for the library but our first stop is this little country market that jim likes right here off the highway here so we're going to go in here and get his Wild game stuff. You can get some burger for dinner. Although today is cheap day for uh, burgers at the fast food places. But uh, the lines will be too long. So let's go in. You know how much I love hot dogs. Well, we had to come back home because I forgot my library books. Plus, I had to go to the bathroom. And then we wanted to drop all the cold stuff off in the refrigerator. Because we got a little bit of running to do. Um... But we're on our way now to CVS to pick up my expensive prescription. But we'll talk again soon. Well, guess what? I just recorded a big old conversation and forgot to turn the phone on. <laughs> Only me. Only me. Anyway, I was just telling you that we're back finally. We did a lot of running around. Um, <clears throat> Denise was at the hospital with Mary. Mary had to have um, some procedure done today. Her, her last little jump over the hoop, so to speak, to get... Uh, the clearance to be put on the list for her liver kidney transplant and it was a I think it was a heart pet scan I think it was or a heart scan or something anyway her um all of her valves and arteries and everything are all clear and she has no blockages or anything so they cleared her with a healthy heart but she has to stay at the hospital until well it's already past that time now but she had to stay at the hospital till five o'clock tonight but uh so Denise had called me and asked me if, like, with all my running around today, if I could bring Kylie some dinner. So I called Kylie, and she wanted a Wendy's biggie bag or whatever. I don't eat at Wendy's anymore. I used to eat there all the time. I don't know why I stopped going. But <clears throat> anyway, so we went to Jim's um, store. But I ended up, I bought, they had really good deals going on. I bought a pound of ground sirloin, which is you'll see that I had for dinner. Um, and then I bought two butterfly pork chops, and I bought four country-style ribs. My portion of the meat only cost $20. Jim's portion of the meat cost a fortune because <laughs> he bought, uh, each thing he bought was like $13 each. He bought like three, I don't eat them, venison sticks. Or like, they're like a beef jerky, but it's a venison. One's an elk and one's um, a bear. And then he got some sausage and... Um, what else did he get? Well, anyway, Jim's meat come to like $70. <laughs> he got a lot. So, uh, but he put it in the freezer, so it'll last him a little while. And then um, <clears throat> we went there first, and then we came home, and I had to use the restroom. So we used the bathroom. I put all the stuff away. And then, um, then where do we go? Oh, then we went to CVS to pick up my prescription because I have to start taking that it wasn't as I, I thought it was 275 it was 207 
a little st still expensive, but not as, as expensive. That's for a three month supply. So we went there and um, when I had told her that I was gonna call the doctor to see if she could find a cheaper you know, prescription for me, she said, well, that's okay. We'll just put it aside for two weeks. And then if you don't come back, then we'll just put it back on the shelf. And I said, okay, fine. And uh, so it hasn't even been a week. Well, it's been a week today. Well, no, it's, yeah, a week today, because I went last Thursday. And um, so we pull up to the window, and no, it's not there. They, they already put it back. So she says, well, if you, you know, if you give us an hour, we'll fill it. And I said, okay. So then we left there, and we went to the dermatologist to make an appointment. I was one of those people, like, I, I apologized profusely when I got in, because they closed at 4, and I was going in at 3.58. <laughs> like, ah. But all I was doing was making an appointment. So um, my appointment is Friday the 27th at 12.15. And uh, I gave them a list of all the things I want them to check in case I forget. So I told them when it's fresh in my mind today. So I told them all that. I'm going to have them look at these and have them look at this. I'm going to have them look at these things. I'm going to have them look at the ward on my finger or my hand or whatever. And, uh, and just do a body scan too just to check out everything else. And then uh, from there we went to Wendy's, and I thought we could turn left onto Gratiot. It was perfectly clear. So I told Jim, I said, turn left here, we're going to turn left here. So he turned, and as he's turning, he says, there was a sign that said no left turn. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I said, I didn't know, I didn't know. So we went into Wendy's and got his Kylie's stuff, that we brought the stuff off and dropped it. Oh, and then we got Kylie's food, but on the way, the library's there, so I did drop my books off at the library. And then we continued on and dropped the food off at Kylie's. And in the meantime, I got a text from um, CVS that my prescription was ready. So we went and picked up the prescription, and we came back. Um, while we were traveling today, we got uh, word from Birdie, her um, husband, Ron. I don't know if you remember, I told, I'm sure you for, didn't forget, but he had, um, had to have a, re a valve replaced, and it was like a major thing, the... He was on almost on bypass too long because you're only allowed three hours, and he was like two and a half hours on that. And then the valve didn't fit; it was too big, and so they had to make a little contraption. And then he had too much scar tissue from the last time, so you know it was like a big thing. But anyway, um, Bertie said that uh, this morning she, um, he, his shirt was all wet. <clears throat> they looked, and he has an infection in his incision. And it's like just dripping pus out of it. I know, kind of gluck. But anyway, it's, it's just kind of really... So they had an appointment already with the cardiologist. And the cardiologist looked at it and said, no, you got to go right to emergency. So she brought him over to the emergency room. And uh, well, he's he's a, he's a mess. <laughs> His blood pressure was too low. It was only 72. His heartbeat was too high. It was 160. His infection is just oozing pus to the point that they had to reopen his incision, drain out all the pus, and then pack it. So he's in intensive care now for a couple of days. So if you could say some prayers for Bertie's husband, Ron, I would so appreciate it because it's kind of it's kind of scary right now. It really is. So I don't know. And then you're going to see I had a very odd breakfast. I knew that we, we walked late only because of me because I was too lazy, didn't get out of bed, took too long, I played too many games on my phone this morning. So by the time we actually left, it was like 1.30. And I don't eat and travel well, so I had a very odd breakfast. I had a slice of cheese, a banana, an apple, <laughs> and what else did I have? And a half a cucumber. <laughs> but it was four points. And then my dinner, I'm just going to, I know I'm going to have a lot for my dinner. I'm going to have the, um, I'm going to have a cheeseburger and fries. And I think... With the cheeseburger and the fries and the bun and everything, I think I, I can't remember exactly because I pointed it out already. I'm almost positive it was like almost 20 points. It was like, it was eight points for the, eight points for the ground sirloin. Because I make a third of a pound. I make a good size burger. Uh, so it's uh, um, eight points for that. Five points for the American cheese because you can't have a cheeseburger without American cheese. Well, you can. You can have mozzarella cheese. You can't have a cheeseburger without cheese. So that's another five. So that was 13. And then three three points for the French fries. The Orida. I get the Orida frozen. 12 of the French fries are um, three points. And I'm just going to have a glass of water with it. So that's what? Eight and five is 13 and three is six. 16 points. 
Yeah, 16 points for a dinner. Wow, that's a big dinner. But uh, I, I have the points. That's all that matters. It's just I have the points. And then tonight, I think I'm almost positive my Survivor starts tonight. I know that Jim and I are going to watch Dancing with the Stars because Jim loves that show. So we watched that from last night. And then uh, I know there was a little bit of controversy with that one because they had that criminal on, on a somebody. I did watch the documentary on Netflix. I think it was on Netflix about her, where she scammed all the rich people. Anyway, and out of their money. And then what else have we got to watch? Are oh, they going to try the try, try out that new show, High Potential? It kind of looks kind of cute. And then Survivors Tonight and then Big Brother. So I got those, got a busy night ahead of me. So, all right, I guess that's it. Let me show you what I had to eat, and then we'll talk again tomorrow. See you then. Okay, I'll admit it's an odd breakfast, but I don't like to eat a lot when we're traveling. We're going to be gone most of the day. So I'm going to have an apple, banana, and a cucumber, and some more water for zero points, and then... An ounce of cheese for four points, so it's a four-point breakfast. Very odd, I know. Okay, a 15-point dinner, three points for the french fries, four points for the roll, five points for the cheese, and eight points for the... Oh, wait a minute. Let's, let's do a retake on that. Eight points for the burger, five points for the cheese. That makes it 13. Four for the... Bun makes it 17 and 3 for the french fries makes it 20, so it's a 20 point dinner.